Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel as the case may be. Today we are continuing our 1001 tarot spreads. This time we are up to number 17, which asks the question, should you go it alone in business, or find someone to partner with? This is a two card reading using the full deck. We are again using Tarot de la Nuit, or Tarot of the Night, and let's get into it. Like most tarot readings that only have two cards, this is comparing and contrasting the two options. Using the full deck, we're going to have a lot of different things, and I will remind you, even though it might not come up, this deck does have a bonus card, the Angel of the Night card. So we will see if it actually comes up in any readings this week, but just a, a heads up in case it does. So card number one is going it alone. Card number two is if you find the right partner. So card number one. Oh, interesting. Okay, so going it alone, King of Cups. So here's the King of Cups. King of Cups represents mastery of emotions. It is emotionally safer to do this by yourself. You aren't going to have the conflicts of balancing the different people involved. You'll be able to have more control over it. Card number two, if you have a partner. Ten of Pentacles. Reversed. Ten of Pentacles typically represents the culmination of family life or business. It's when you've reached the point of financial success that things are set. If you don't do anything reckless, you'll be fine for the rest of your life. Being reversed, this is cautioning that there are there is greater risk in whatever you are planning with a partner. That does not necessarily mean don't do it. Because again, this is comparing and contrasting the two options. One, with represented by the King of Cups, you're going to be more emotionally secure in your own decision making when you're working it by yourself. With the Ten of Pentacles reversed, there is more risk involved in having a partner. But it might be necessary. You're going to need to examine your own finances, examine your own situation, and weigh those options. When it comes to business, high risk, high reward. So you could go the easier route. Well, I shouldn't say easier. The emotionally safer route of doing it by yourself, where there's less risk of harm to your ego, or you could take the higher risk route where you involve other people, but there's potential for personality conflict. If you are enjoying these readings, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and if you really liked them, please share them around. That always helps. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye!